uh, currently I'm working in Japan and uh, I have very few occasions to speak in English. So my English is not very good, uh, might not be, uh, not be, be very good. So, uh, but I'll try. And uh, please feel free to stop me if you have any question. So, uh, this is uh, the talk about determinacy of infinite games uh, in uh, in second order arithmetic. And uh, the results, uh, not uh, some of uh, some of the results is uh, very new, but it's not by me. Uh, but uh, I'll try to give some overview about uh, this uh, research of infinite games in Viva mathematics. And uh, maybe some of you already know most of the parts of my talk, but uh, uh, I'm sorry for that. Um, this is the outline of my talk. First, I will introduce uh, second order arithmetic and rebuff mathematics. I think some of you know it very well, and some, are, uh, some, uh, some of you are not. Uh, so, just a quick view. And uh, I uh, then I talk about how uh, to formalize determinacy in this setting. And uh, the third part is what. I did in my PhD study. Uh, I uh, analyzed the hierarchy of determinacy uh, in second order arithmetic. To do that, uh, I introduced finer hierarchy than Borel hierarchy, that is called wage hierarchy. And uh, recently, uh, uh, almost all hierarchy of determinacy in second order arithmetic uh, uh, analyzed. Uh, I'll, I'll introduce some uh, recent works in the end. So, what is reverse mathematics? That is uh, the main question is for each mathematical theorem. What is the necessary and sufficient set? Um, the, as a practice, we use, uh, mathemat uh, we use second order arithmetic, uh, that is a language for uh, natural number and set of natural number. So here, the set, uh, necessary and sufficient set means a set of natural numbers. Uh, it's so weak setting than usual set theory, but uh, because of this weakness, we can, we can classify uh, very weak uh, mathematical statements. And, and uh, and uh, actually, a lot of uh, lots of theorems from practical analysis and algebra can be classified uh, uh, and char characterized by a set uh, set comprehension axiom on in second order arithmetic. So, uh, in practice. We formalize mathematical state statement in the language of a second order arithmetic and find necessary and sufficient set comprehension in second order arithmetic. And uh, most of theorems in undergraduate mathematics, like analysis or linear algebra, etc., uh, maybe general algebra, uh, are proved in RCA note that is uh, uh, the theory usually used as a base theory over which we classify mathematical theorems or uh, equivalent one of uh, one of uh, characterizing axioms of systems called WKL, uh, ACA, APR, or Pyromon comprehension action. And these systems are called big five systems. And what is second order arithmetic? I will introduce the uh, formal system now. Here I use language called L2 plus exponentiation. That is a uh, first order arithmetic plus uh, some first order arithmetic with exponentiation and uh, uh, set membership relation. Then uh, we classify L2 formula in usual sense, uh, in usual class. Uh, so 
if the formula, uh, formula does not contain any unbounded quantifiers, uh, both for natural numbers and set of natural numbers. So, first order part is uh, uh, set, uh, nat natural number, and second order part is a set of natural numbers. And so, we have two kinds of quantifiers, and uh, uh, we have the formula which does not contain any uh, uh, any unbounded natural uh, unbounded quantifiers are called phi zero zero, and uh, formula in this uh, form uh, in the form exists and exists uh, one existential number quantifier is called sigma zero. Uh, one number quantifier existential number quantifier at the top is called sigma zero k plus one, and uh, uh, and formula with no uh, set quantifiers are called arithmetical or pi one zero. And the formula of the form, uh, one existential set quantifier with uh, followed, followed, followed by pi one k formula is called sigma one k plus one formula. And uh, this is very classical uh, classification. And so pi one k formula Pi, pi i k plus one formula it has the form is a negation of uh, sigma i k, but usually it's defined as a four or something, uh, usually. And uh, so, usually in reverse mathematics, we classify mathematical theorems uh, with uh, set comprehension actions which are necessary and sufficient. So, for that, we need a uh, base theory. That, uh, and in this talk, I use uh, RC not star. That, is, that consists uh, actions for basic arithmetic, uh, success addition, multiplication, order, and also exponentiation, and phi zero zero induction. Uh, so induction scheme for phi zero zero formulas and delta zero one comprehension. Uh, that. That means uh, in recursion theory that uh, corresponds to recursive comprehension action. So we uh, in omega model it's in some uh, omega model that is uh, models of the second order arithmetic with uh, standard first order part uh, which corresponds to it has all recursive uh, set of natural numbers and uh, usual. Uh, in Simpson's most famous book of second order arithmetic, the base theory RC is not is used instead of this RC not star. But uh, this RC not star, uh, RC not can be regarded as a system like RC not star or plus sigma the one induction. So why I use this language L2 plus exponentiation is uh, I want to weaken uh this induction scheme as uh, to pi zero zero but uh, we need coding for natural numbers that is the idea later i will uh, use some example i really need this rc not star and uh, <clears throat> the system big five i referred before it's uh, obtained uh, by adding uh, some actions to RC not star. So one one of the weakest one is uh, weaker in lemma and adding sigma zero one or just RC not star to uh, adding sigma zero one that is called RC not and uh, adding and stronger one, uh, slightly stronger one is sigma zero one comprehension or sometimes called it uh, arithmetical comprehension. And uh, we also have a transfinite iteration of arithmetical comprehension according to well ordering that it's called arithmetical transfinite recursion. And uh, we have more systems. Uh, so from the top, pi one one, uh, five, uh, so the second one uh, from the top, uh, second one from the top is 
sigma one one three a that is equivalent to pi one one comprehension action. So the system sigma one one three a is same as uh, equivalent of the pi one one three a one of big five system. And uh, ADR arithmetical transparent recursion uh, forms a uh, system ADR node. And uh, sigma zero comprehension axiom from uh, system uh, ACA. And we can stream up uh, from a system WKL node. And I added several other systems. I will, uh, and all of these systems are characterized by uh, some kind of determinacy scheme. No? So, so using this system, these systems, I classified uh, determinacy scheme. Ah, here is some results of uh, example of reverse mathematics, and uh, we uh, we can assume uh, it's equivalent to high nebulous covering theorem uh, in uh, in basic topology and uh, ACA. Arithmetical comprehension or sigma zero one comprehension is equivalent to Bolton virus cross theorem. And uh, arithmetical transparency recursion is uh, equivalent to comparability of well ordering. So, uh, above at ATR, uh, uh, the equivalent uh, mathematical statements tend to have some descriptive set theoretical or uh, set theoretical, uh, so, uh, so, uh, tend to have some, can be found from some, uh, descriptive set theory or set theory. And the uh, weak for weaker systems, uh, are usually, uh, characterized by, uh, basic actions from analysis, uh, and sometimes algebra. But recently, uh, stronger systems, uh, uh recently, uh, for example, Keita Yokoyama is working on uh, some uh, strong uh, system, uh, strong uh, theorems from analysis, which is characterized by ATR or 511CA node. And, and uh, uh, interesting thing is, uh, uh, except for combinatorial uh, theorems, uh, uh, all theorems are usually uh, usually characterized by weaker set comprehension axiom, and uh, recent results are characterized more by more uh, complex uh, set comprehension axiom. So it's something interesting. It's not always the case, but uh, it has some such a tendency. And. Uh, what is the question for determinacy in reverse mathematics? So determinacy is uh, classified like uh, gamma determinacy uh, using the class classification of schemes. Then we can define gamma determinacy. Uh, for that, what is the necessary and sufficient comprehension set comprehension actions? That is a question. So let's formalize infinite games in our language. Uh, let this capital X be either natural numbers or a set of only zero and one. Then we can, uh, so, so in our setting, we only have set of natural numbers. So not, uh, we don't have any set of infinite sequence of natural numbers. So the game is, uh, given by a formula with uh, uh, one distinguished uh, function uh, symbols, uh, function parameter. Function, uh, by the way, function on natural numbers can be coded by uh, its characteristic. Uh, 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 its uh, function of natural numbers uh, can be regarded as a, a, gra a set of uh, the graph of functions, so it can be coded as a set of natural numbers. So we can define, we can give a game in, in the language of second order arithmetic. 
So the game is something like this. Player one and two alternately choose some natural, uh, some uh, elements from capital X to form an infinite sequence of the elements from X. Like this, uh, player one to pass something and player two choose something later, uh, something after that. Then uh, player one choose something again and player two and so on. Then player one wins if and only if phi of x holds. And otherwise, player two wins. So if one of the players has a winning strategy in this game, the game phi of f is determined. So then uh, we can define a class of games as a class of formulas with distinguished function variables. Gamma determinacy asserts that uh, every uh, game in gamma is determined. Then uh, formally strategies can be coded by a function from natural numbers to x. So x is a subset of uh, natural numbers. So it's uh, the function, uh, this strategy is a function of natural numbers. So we can formalize uh, the game uh, phi of f is determined in, uh, in su such, uh, in this, uh, in such display formula. So exists player one strategy such that for any player two strategy, player one can beat. Or player two has uh, some strategy that player uh, for any player two, uh, for any player one strategy, uh, player two can beat player one. So not so phi of f holds means player one win and uh, Negation of phi of f holds means a player to win. So we can formalize the determinacy statement in our setting. And uh, we also have uh, delta i n determinacy. Uh, of course, delta i n is not a class of formulas, uh, but uh, uh, but. We can uh, so in descriptive set theory, it's an intersection of sigma zero, uh, and sigma i n sets and pi i n sets. Uh, okay, not not intersection, but uh, intersection class of sigma i n and pi i n. But uh, in our setting, uh, we don't have any class of formula delta i n, but we formalize the determinacy statement like for all uh, functions uh, x to z. And if phi zero of f holds, if and only if uh, sigma i of f holds, then the game is determined. Uh, the game phi zero of f is determined. Where we, uh, phi i's are all in sigma i n. So it is sigma i n, but the negation is also sigma i n, then we, we can read. Uh, then, uh, so that means uh, itself, it and itself, uh, it, negation of it are equivalent to sigma i n. Then we can regard its uh, intersection of the class sigma i n and pi i n, and such game is determined. That is uh, sigma i n determinants. And uh, usually the games, uh, the Usually, the set comprehension action uh, in second order arithmetic, especially in weak, uh, weak system, are characterized by games in the control space. That is, uh, games uh, in the, uh, the that is, uh, players can choose zero and one, uh, zero or one at each turn. So the the going way of the game can be seen as uh, choosing a path of binary trees. And, uh, and actually, uh, games in the control space is sometimes easier than uh, the games in the boiler space uh, because 
the control space has a nice property that, uh, uh, that is compact. And uh, if we have enough complexity, all the games in the uh, borders, uh, uh, all the games in the uh, and to the end can be inter interpreted to ones in the control space. Uh, that is also a nice thing, but uh, when we are working in a very weak, very low complex game, this, uh, this interpretation does not hold, we will see it later. So, first, uh, this is a table of uh, determinacy for uh, a uh, class of polar hierarchies. Uh, some are from uh, different hierarchies. So, weak game schema and sigma zero one induction is equivalent to uh, delta zero one determinacy and sigma zero one determinacy in the control space. Uh, so, by the way, this uh, the column in the middle is uh, for determinacy in in the control space. And uh, it, uh, the rightmost column is for the gains in the bare space, and the weakest uh, weakest uh, systems, which is stronger than base theory, than base theory uh, RCA node, uh, it's characterized by a uh, delta zero one determinacy and sigma zero one determinacy. And arithmetical comprehension is characterized by uh, uh, the first class, uh, first differ, uh, difference class of uh, above sigma zero one. That is that the game is uh, defined by a um, conjunction with sigma zero one and uh, sigma zero one and phi zero one formula. And ATR arithmetical transparent recursion is characterized by uh, delta del two determinacy and sigma del two determinacy in the control space. By the way, first result uh, in the research of reverse mathematics was given by Steele, that is uh, delta zero one determinacy and sigma zero one determinacy uh, in the bare space is equivalent to arithmetical transfer recursion. Uh, by the way, can you see the pointer I used here? Yes, yes. The red one, or just the uh, just the, the, the white. Uh, ah, okay, okay, thank you. Then I, it's easy to explain now. And uh, so, at first glance, you will uh, understand uh, weaker systems of reverse mathematics of from big fiber characterized by the uh, uh, by a determinacy in the uh, control space and uh, uh, determinacy in the bare space uh, characterizes some systems as stronger than uh, stronger than ATR here. So, big five is this. Uh, this WKL plus sigma zero one induction and arithmetical comprehension and arithmetical transfer recursion and phi one one CA and uh, usual uh, usual uh, uh, mathematical theorems like uh, analysis are uh, usually characterize these systems. So determinacy scheme uh, statements are strongly stronger in that sense. So, and so to what I did in my dissertation, that was already 10 years ago now, that is uh, to fill some gap here, I introduced uh, a final hierarchy that is uh, given by wedge uh, in descriptive set theory. Uh, I, I formalized wedge hierarchy in uh, in the language of second order arithmetic as a formula class. And I showed that uh, I could fill this gap. So 
I so at some point there the there's really dominancy. Uh the determinacy of control space and bare space uh, coincides and from from here about uh each determinacy are equivalent but up to there we can find uh if uh find a hierarchy here in the control space and and also we can find it here uh, something here and and what is weight graphs? Uh, that is, I used to reverse description of weight classes uh, for a class gamma offsets and uh, beta, uh, ordinary beta. The difference hierarchy is given is a class of sets of the form this one. Uh, so we take. Uh, Increasing sequence of sets and take the difference and take union. This is just a, just a picture for that, and this is usual definition. And to handle it in the language of second order arithmetic, uh, I used a class of formula. Uh, I used a formula. Uh, with two parameters, like uh, one is intending to uh, uh, express uh, ordinal, and uh, one is for usual uh, function uh, function of natural numbers, and ordinals can be given as a well ordering of uh, of natural numbers, and according to that. Uh, I used uh, so I define uh, defined like this. So exists some gamma less than beta that par uh, so uh, parity uh, comparing parity of them and uh, take a difference. And so just imitate uh, usual setting of this group. That's so we with the uh, uh, formulas. Then we can formalize uh, determinacy for the class uh, difference hierarchy. Like if we have uh, if beta is a well ordering and uh, this either is a beta increasing, that's to imitate uh, increasing se sequence of sets, then uh, uh, then this is the imitation of difference hierarchy here uh, and this this can be written as a uh, second uh, formula of second order arithmetic and that gain is determined like this and another class uh, so by the way uh reverse this uh, for for wage hierarchy, uh, Rebo introduced, I think, five uh, operations to make a class of set, uh, sets. And for determinants, it's up to, uh, up to uh, delta zero, uh, up to delta zero two or slightly above. Uh, Sigma zero two. We only need three of them. So one is this difference color difference class, and uh, the second one is the uh, operation called set uh, for the class uh, gamma and gamma prime of sets. Set gamma and gamma prime is a class of sets of the form this way, and so T is from gamma and uh, S I is uh, from gamma prime. And uh, the class uh, set gamma and gamma prime is given. Uh, oh, sorry, here I used should have written like uh, union, uh, intersection and union, set theoretical operation here. 
and uh, this indicated part is the result of set. Then here, what I so this is here is uh, intersection and here is union, and I just replace it here. Um, so take for given classes for uh, uh, classes of formula, we can define a uh, set gamma and gamma prime or the class of formula of the form uh, just replace intersection to the logical and union uh, the logical or and define like this. Then this is this case is easier. Uh, set gamma and gamma uh, set gamma and gamma prime it's also a class of formula then we can uh, easily define the set gamma determinants. And when gamma is uh, like this, delta n, I use a trick I explained before. So we can formalize a set delta n, uh, delta zero n gamma determinants like this. And slightly more complicated one is a class bicep, uh, bicep gamma gamma and gamma prime. Uh, the set theoretic operation is like this. So T0 and T1, uh, this joint set from gamma, so T, I should have written like Ti here, and Si are from gamma prime. And uh, taking the complement of S0 and uh, taking S1, as it is, and so it's here, it should be S, S1 here, not SC here. And taking uh, intersection of S0 and T0, and uh, T0 and complement of S0, and T1 and S1, and take union. Uh, similarly, we can define the class bisect, uh, class of formula bisect gamma gamma prime. Uh, like just replacing intersections uh, and and uh, union or here and uh, so from take uh, taking formulas from uh, formulas psi zero and psi one from gamma and eta zero and eta one from gamma prime and taking uh, it uh, taking and of psi zero and not eta zero and not it it should be sorry here it's psi just psi r psi one and eta one so that's already cooperation is like this and then we can define another uh eta scheme then so for sets uh, of of point uh, control space or bare space, we have such final hierarchy of wage classes. And for formulas, uh, we can imitate this class, uh, these hierarchies like this. Uh, by the way, from, uh, so this E2 means uh, difference, uh, first difference hierarchy of Sigma about sigma zero two. That means uh, just intersection of sigma zero two set and uh, pi zero two set. And up to here, we only use difference hierarchy and set operation like set and bisect. But uh, from here above, we have more complex hierarchy, and just I didn't introduce it uh, now. Uh, and um, by the way, how is the property of this class? Uh, with class of sets, we have such property that bicep is uh, something in between difference hierarchy, uh, bicep delta zero alpha and d delta sigma zero alpha. So it's something exactly in between uh, different beta level difference hierarchy over sigma zero alpha and 
the next level of difference hierarchy. And uh, bicep delta zero alpha is just equal to sep delta zero alpha, uh, bicep delta zero alpha and sigma zero alpha plus beta is equal to set delta zero alpha and sigma zero alpha plus beta. And this property is uh, completely transferred uh, to the uh, class of formulas uh, now I defined. And so topologically, the point class has a such, pro uh, such property and this can be carried on for formulas. Then, uh, okay, then uh, let's see uh, general uh, general work, uh, general characterization of determinacy in second order in defense mathematics. First, I show that uh, how it works to prove uh, determinacy scheme from sets comprehensions. Uh, for a given game, we prove determinacy of phi like uh, using characterizing set comprehension axioms. Uh, the gain uh, uh, reduce the complexity of gain. For example, well, uh, if a gain is given in this form, just exists in a uh, uh, set of Fn. By the way, this Fn means it ends initial segment of uh, infinite sequence, and this part uh, is then it means. Uh, so this formula only has uh, referred uh, some initial part of F, and the game of, has a form existing some some initial segment of F, and phi sati uh, uh, F satisfies phi prime. Then, uh, if we could have a set like this, A is a set of uh, initial segment or uh, set of nodes of the three, nodes of the three, like uh, this part holds set of, set of X holds, and player one can win uh, the game at X. So, using if we have enough set comprehension actions, then the game, original game, can be reduced like this way. There is n such that if we can reach some position in A, then player one wins. So the complexity of the game can be reduced as a, a sigma zero one game. And so it can be easy to prove. For the other direction, uh, we consider a special special form of the game that uh, uh, so for we have to prove a set comprehension uh, that means we have to prove the existence of this the set of this form uh, x uh, consists of uh, phi of x uh, psi of x fold. Uh, we consider such a game. First, player one x some n and ask whether psi of n holds or not. Then player two answers yes or no. Then, if player two answer yes, then player two has to give a witness for that. If player two answer no, then player one insists it should not be the case, and player one has to give a witness for that. But in this kind of game, player one have never winning strategy uh, because player one cannot win these both cases. If player two answer correctly, then player one has no way to win. So play, player two answer correctly and player two construct the correct witness, then player one has no way to win. Then or player two answer correctly, no, then player one can never 
construct the witness. So, player two, uh, player one has no winning strategy and determinacy implies that player two has a winning strategy. Uh, then, from player two's winning strategy, uh, we can construct the set we wanted. So, pick N according to player two's uh, winning strategy. Uh, if we pick uh, if player one pick this n, ask uh, player one answer yes, then it should be correct. And uh, get, uh, and correcting such element, we can uh, construct the set we wanted. In that way, uh, that this table is fulfilled. And uh, I will show. And the very first example. Um, so here I just introduced uh, how to reduce the comprehension complexity of games. But for the first case, we have to show that maybe I should uh, talk it first. Uh, so example, weak penis lemma and sigma draw and dynasty. Uh, we can the uh, statement like every binary tree with any infinite any finite length and uh, finite length branch has an infinite path. So if I draw a picture like this, it could be represented by uh, choosing. Uh, it can be given uh, so given infinite binary tree, there exists a path, infinite path. That is a weak in schema. And I'll say not star proves that uh, weak in schema is equivalent to sigma the one determinants in the control space. Uh, for the implication from WKL to uh, sigma the one determinants, uh, let sigma zero, uh, sigma uh, that uh, exists in theta Fn. Uh, say that if n is a sigma zero gain, then this part is a pi zero zero statement and it prefers only an initial segment of f that can be called a natural numbers. And this is uh, just uh, initial segment of infinite binary sequences. So it can be, it, so th this such element is, can be plotted on the binary tweets like this, then if player one had, uh, we have a such uh, partial tree uh, that is player one to, uh, so in this direction, so at uh, even level, we have one direction. And at each odd level, uh, we have two uh, successor nodes, and at next level, uh, we have all, at least one uh, node, uh, one node, and uh, in such puzzle tree, uh, we can reach uh, the node uh, with this blue mark, then uh, player one wins. So, for example, in this case, player one can win first. He or she choose this direction zero, and then if player two choose this direction, then player one already wins. And if player two choose this direction, player one can win by choosing this direction. Then it's uh, it's easy. So this is called like. Uh, one imposed sub game or something like that in some paper. And if it's not the case, if we don't have such a nice uh, partial tree, then uh, in a sense, player two has a escape route at each finite level. Then that means we can code uh, such partial escape route uh we can uh, we can organize it as an 
infinite binary tree, and by taking uh, infinite paths of such tree, tree of two escape route, uh, we have an infinite path by WK, and that yields a winning strategy for player two. Other legs. Uh, so this is a proof of uh, determinacy from weak and extremo. The other direction, uh, from determinacy to WKF, uh, we consider such uh, gain. Uh, so for given infinite binary tree, T, we have to find the path of T. So player one choose some node of the three T, then player two choose which way to go. Then player one choose T with uh, such that S concatenated by this I and find some sequence. And all the concatenation should be in this 3T, original 3T. And player 2 goes the other way. So, first given S, player, go, uh, player two, 2 goes to the other direction and constructs some sequence still in T. And player, mm, it, sorry, it should be this. Uh, this mark is opposite. If player one, uh, if player one can uh, construct a longer sequence than player two, then player one wins. And so, and sorry, here it should be opposite direction. Player one wins when he or she can construct a longer sequence than player two, and. But player two has a no winning strategy in this game because player two can choose uh, the way to go. And if player two uh, choose the uh, wrong direction, then player one can never object it. Then player two can construct a longer sequence. So player two wins. So by the determinacy, we can say that player two has a winning strategy, and which yields, according to the player two's winning strategy, uh, we can construct an infinite path of T. And, and so we have, so actually all this proof can be done like something like this. And uh, one of technique is uh, uh, to prove uh, set comprehension from determinants is how to construct this kind of game when we have a complex set comprehension actions. And, and I will, okay, I will skip it, but here I only talked about uh, this part. And but so sigma zero and determinacy is equivalent to weak Keynes lemma. And over that, uh, adding sigma zero and determinacy, uh, sigma, adding sigma zero and induction that is characterized by a class from uh, wage class, wage hierarchy. I will skip to it unfortunately. And and what uh, so first idea, I, I introduced wage class to uh, this uh, these sorts of infinite games is just to fulfill this part here. But uh, later I uh, expand on that uh, almost all known uh, sy systems of second order arithmetic can be characterized by determinacy and. Uh, it's really varied from very weak uh, system, uh, weak systems up to very stronger systems, and and 
recently we have more final tables now. Uh, first, uh, first work was done by Antonio Montalban and Richard Shaw. That is uh, difference, hierar uh, difference hierarchy over sigma zero three sets, uh, sigma zero three. Uh, uh, determinants of such class can be proved from sigma, sigma one n plus three comprehension action, but uh, delta one n plus three comprehension action does not prove it. So it is located something in between here. And uh, 2019, uh, Hatzman, Hatzman, uh, it should be CHD here. Uh, Hatzman proves that sigma zero three determinancy, both in the uh, control space and bell space, can be characterized as the existence of beta model of pi one to monotone inductive, uh, monotone inductive uh, definition. And uh, yes, so over pi one one transparent because actually there are many. Uh, Find a hierarchy of uh, weight class and uh, and also sigma zero three determinants is here and we have uh, really uh, uh, really varied uh, hierarchy of determinants and Antonio Montalban and Richard Shaw also proved that uh, finite level of uh, Finite uh, difference hierarchy about sigma zero three uh, determinants of such class can be proved in second order arithmetic, but that is the upper bound. Uh, so, omega level difference hierarchy over sigma zero three cannot be proved as a determinant in this in second in the second order arithmetic. Uh, maybe some of you know uh, the old result by Harvey Friedman that it's uh, Sigma n plus four determinancy, uh, sigma n plus five determinancy cannot be proved from uh, n sort arithmetic, n plus two, n, n sort arithmetic like that, because we need uh, uh, we need uh, power set operation essentially, and so the uh, so this result defines. Uh, such old result, uh, and so this here is a list of recent works after Antonio Montalban and Richard Shores. And uh, here it. And uh, very recent result. It's a uh, 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 very recent result. It's uh, by it is where it is. Uh, oh, sorry, I forget to add it here. Uh, up to uh, so determinancy here for all n difference hierarchy of, of sigma zero three uh, three determinancy is so all such a class is determinate is equivalent to uh, a beta, uh, the scheme that put, that is called beta model reflection in second order arithmetic. Uh, that is a uh, re very recent work by a student of uh, Tohoku University. Uh, it's, its name is uh, Leo. So if you are interested in, please contact me. And so, uh, recently, I'm not very familiar with, uh, I, I not yet studied in detail the recent result, but the study of uh, low level, uh, low level of determinants is still quite active uh, area. And another direction is, uh, another research direction is uh, by Lorio. I, I don't know, he's, I think uh, he's, Recent, uh, he finished his his or his his or her dissertation in Portuguese, 
uh, several years ago. Uh, in the dissertation, determinancy of lift gain is a kind of variance, uh, variance of wage gain is analyzed. Uh, uh, and in that analysis, uh, uh, wage graphs are also used. Uh, so this is a recent result. So that is uh, what I can talk today. And thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much. Are there any questions? Uh, yes, I have. I have one. Uh, yeah, go, go ahead, Rafael. All right. Um, thanks, uh, Takako, for a very nice talk. And uh, I was I was wondering um, one of the one of the applications of the um, of the Louvo description of the of the wage classes was the proof that wage determinacy. Um, so the, if you're not looking at determinacy for whole Gale Stewart games, but just for wage games, yeah. actually prove uh, the de the wage determinacy for all uh, pairs of Morel sets in second order arithmetic, and Louvo used uh, his description to prove that. Yeah. And I was wondering if if you have looked into this, so that to have a, a finer appreciation of in which kind of um, in which kind of uh, of one of the models of the big five models, for instance, uh, can you can prove uh, various wage determinacy results? Uh, yeah, that is very interesting question. And I think uh, reward once I I have a, had a look of uh, rewards uh, analysis of the complexity about. Uh, Wage games and uh, it's a uh, it's the complexity is not very high like hyperarithmetic uh, for border wage games uh, the complexity is something like hyperarithmetic but uh, uh, in this uh, setting of reverse mathematics is it, it is not yet anal analyzed and uh, so it's a kind of open question and I guess uh, for uh, for example this. Uh, Recent result by Lorio, Lorio, how do you pronounce? Uh, 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 Lipschitz game given by, uh, I think it's uh, Delta the one, Sigma the one. So it usually the Lipschitz game is given by two classes of sets and uh, mm -hmm. he analyzed to Delta the one, Sigma the one, like that. And that is, Equivalent to weekend cinema, and I think he in his web page he up, uh, he uploaded his uh, I think he uploaded his draft of, of submitted paper, uh, but uh, for wage games uh, I don't know any published result other than the was uh, general work and and I don't know. Uh, Find a hierarchy of wage graph, and I think that's very interesting. So, um, my, maybe I do it next. All right, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you. Are there any other questions? If not, I have a small one out of curiosity. So. Has it been done to, uh, instead of presenting uh, the different levels of the wage hierarchy with Louvo's operation, has it been done to present it using just the, the ordinal rank of the class yeah. involved? Yeah. Um, yeah, that's a very I don't know any other description. Of course, I know your work, but uh, I don't know any, uh, anybody who introduced that setting into second order arithmetic. Because that that would give an ordinal to uh, each one of the big five and more. Uh, hmm? Sorry. That would give an ordinal. That would, yeah. The ordinal, which is the how many levels you have in the wage hierarchy of the uh, involved class. Uh 
you have would give an ordinal, an exact ordinal yes. to, uh, ah. to the, 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 the fragment of signal order arithmetic that you're considering. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a very difficult question. And so, for example, uh, the, maybe you know, uh, up to, so here about 80. So the proof theoretic ordinal of ADR, ADR node that is arithmetical transfinite recursion mm -hmm. is uh, it's a gamma node. So that means the upper bound of the uh, or, uh, ordinals uh, that ADR node proves uh, the rewardedness is gamma node. And uh, he, actually, here we have a hierarchy, difference hierarchy up to gamma node here. Mm -hmm. But uh, but if we uh, if we iterate this uh, this so arithmetical transfinite recursion is a kind of iteration of sigma zero comprehension or pi zero comprehension, and if we iterate this pi zero one comprehension over gamma node, then the system, we can define such a system uh, if we have suitable ordinal notation system in, in second order arithmetic, we can iterate uh, by the one set, uh, by the one action according to that, then the, of course, then the proof theoretic strength such system uh, is uh, stronger than uh, Stronger than eighty or not, and yeah. we have another hierarchy. Mm -hmm. And and I uh, so it, actually the list here has uh, three, except uh, a list here about uh, I'll say not star. Uh, we have uh, here strict uh, hierarchy of strict hierarchy of proof theoretic thing, uh, hence, then, uh, I'm sorry, we have a stroke, uh, we have a, a hierarchy of, of redundancies, but uh, how they are accommodated about uh, ADR not is uh, still, uh, still what uh, I, I don't know yet. Yeah. And, it's an interesting question. Okay, thank you. Is there any other questions? No? So, if not, let's thank the speaker again. Thank you very much.